charge! Die. Yeah. No! Never mind. Bandage. Bandage! Bandage! Oh! I can't hit you! You compu- Well, hello guys, and as you may know, that was a clip from the game called Rust. Rust is basically a 3D, more realistic version of Minecraft, uh, in which you have to survive the night, and there are radiation fields, you have to get like, there's like crafting inventories, there's bears, wolves, everything, uh, you can get like guns, a bow, a hunting bow, by the way the bow is really realistic, kinda, in a way, you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into it, so, I've played this game a little while, and uh, probably like 15 minutes to half an hour. And uh, I have gotten to learn the basics, so what I need to know, or what I do know, is that you need wood and stone first. So if you ever get this game, what you want to do is get wood and stone. <laughs> wood and stone? Wood and stone. Because those are basically the two most ba basic, basic materials. And you need those to craft a hatchet, uh, basically just a ton of stuff. So what you want to do is you want to get some stuff. This isn't a tutorial. I can't teach. Are you kidding me? You know what? Let's just get right into it. So let's get some stone. It looks kind of like glazed, you know what I mean? So I got some stone from that. And uh, I'm going to get a hatchet right away. And I might be playing with other people. But as you may know, this game was just released in alpha, and a lot of my friends are in school. Uh, I'm not, however, because I'm getting homeschooled for the rest of this year. Hint, hint, more videos! So, um, yeah, so, I'll probably be playing with friends soon. So, let's just get a ton of wood, a ton of stone, and I'll see you back right when I get all of the materials I need. Whew. Best time traveling ever. So I'm just going to destroy this tree. I've uh, found quite a ton of stone reservoirs and quite a ton of wood reservoirs. So I think we're going to make a base right here. Um, I'm. How much wood do I have? Hold on. After I break this tree, there's no wood left here. I have 150 wood. Jeez. I'm going to craft a wood shelter just so we can start off this. Uh, there is a radiation field over there, I believe. So, remember, if you have watched a video on rust, or if this is your first video, this is your first, radiation fields can be a good supply of supplies. Um, be, they may do damage, but you can get radiation pills for that, and you can also get uh, rad boots, radiation boots. So, uh, I'm going to stay kind of by this landmark, just because, okay, uh, just because it provides a good source of materials. So I also need to kill something for cloth because cloth can be used to make a sleeping bag in which is kind of like a bed in Minecraft uh, and that makes it so you can just respawn wherever you put it down. So let's break all this wood just for the sake of breaking wood. <laughs> and I know this isn't the most interesting uh, uh, let's play but uh, this is really just about this game is about surviving Nope. 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 Oh, he got it. Shoot. Okay, so, sorry for clicking that. I'm used to pressing escape like that for getting it away. Or, you know what I mean, for disabling the chat that I was about to say. So, yeah. I'm gonna get into this radiation thing. And I'll be back. So, my reds are starting to add up. As you can see in the bottom right corner, there's health. 100 food, 755, and rads, 4. Uh, once you get to 400, radiation actually starts to hurt. So I'm not going to place this wood shelter down yet, but I'm going to do a quick run and a quick out. So let's just quickly get in there. Uh, and if there are any mutant animals in which are caused by radiation, there can be a mutant uh, wolf and a mutant bear, both of which are very deadly. So we need to get in, get out, and get some materials. So, I'm already at 61 rads, so they add up quite quick. I need to get out before I get to 400 rads or else I'm gone. There's a bear. I'm going to try to avoid that because he does some serious damage. He's slow. I can get away. However, he's just a big damage dealer. Gunpowder. Okay, we need cloth. We don't need gunpowder. Uh, what's in here? What's in here? 
There's like some source of energy, but that won't help me because I don't need energy. I need cloth. Help me. Give me cloth. Give me cloth. A pickaxe. A perfect pickaxe. What does that do? Uh, okay. Cool. Thanks. I guess. I don't know. Bye. Oh, okay. This. Uh, cloth. Four cloth. Now we just need one more cloth. Uh, by the way, if you're ever playing this game called Rust, uh, never leave a supply crate behind. Like, I almost just, uh, that's not a supply crate, but as you can see, I found four cloth, and I almost just passed it. So, um, I'm gonna, as you can see, I'm, I got pretty good at doing some quick runs from my first 15 minutes. Uh, so, yeah, I got 246 rads, so slowly start to die down. Uh, I'm gonna get a recording studio soon for singing parodies and for just recording Minecraft and Rust. I think I'm gonna do mostly game, a lot of gameplays on Rust, just because it's so interesting just to see your build and to see how many people you can raid. And really, it's a never-ending game of possibilities, just like Minecraft, because there's a ton of servers. There's modded servers. Also, do some like modded PvP videos. Okay, so here we go. Uh, honestly, I think I need, I'm saving up, I'm gonna save up for a bow, but, uh, yeah, it's not nighttime, so I don't really need a, uh, fire, campfire, but, uh, I'm just gonna try to make a landmark, that big mountain, I guess, I mean, yellow, oh, there's something over here, so I'm gonna come see what this is, and, uh, yeah, so I'll just have a talk, so, this game is pretty awesome. As you can see, it's called Rust. <laughs> I've said that like five times. I'm stupid. But, uh, yeah, this game is pretty awesome. Uh, remember to just leave a like and comment. And comment what you think of this gameplay in the comment section below because this is my first time ever doing something like this. That's not Minecraft. So, um, yeah, I just need some advice on what to do. And my mom just texted me. Uh, put on. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, I get it. Cool, okay. So, I don't think I need to go right now. I think I need to go in like an hour, I think. Uh, yeah. So, there are some houses. I if And if I lose my army camp, it's not really the biggest deal just because I didn't have anything in it. But, oh, cloth. Yes, hunting bow time. So, as you can tell, crafting. Once you get a hunting bow, you're basically set. So, hunting bow, craft one hunting bow. So now I can hunt any bear, any wolf, any pig, and I can have a good source of food, and I can kill players. As uh, I'm actually making some pretty good progress. Uh, I'm just walking, but um, yeah. So let's search this. Some as I said, anti-radiation pills. Those can come in big hand help handy. Those can come in big handy. Yeah, best thing ever. Yeah, so let's just rearrange my inventory so that I have a little more logic to it. Through that, who needs it? E, I want the torch. Uh, I also want this pickaxe just to see what it does. Uh, I still have my hand rock. Uh, wait, hold on, can I craft any arrows? Arrows, arrows, arrows. Arrow. Yes, how many can I craft? Ten. Cool. It's gonna take me a hundred seconds. So after those 100 seconds, I think if I can find something, uh, then I'll hunt it. But if I can't, I think that'll be the end of the episode because this was, I made some pretty good progress and now I just need to find my base. See, those are some mutant wolves. If you see that red thing in the dis those two red things in the distance, we want to avoid those because they're kind of scary. Well, oh, a naked guy is me, by the way. <laughs> Uh, because naked people are kind of starter outs. You know. They're like the new people because they don't have any armor or clothes. Or anything of that sort, to be honest. So I want to see what this perfect pickaxe does. Okay, can't mind that. Perfect pickaxe. Ugh. 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 I need to find a stone reservoir. Sounds so, I sound so awesome saying that word. Reservoir. I want to see how fast this stuff can break stone. Uh, 26 more seconds. Come on, I walk so slow. YOLO! 
that. I thought I was going to get hurt. Uh, go. So, what time do I need to be there? Okay, and a college shirt. I'll put that on in a second. Uh, after this little let's play. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I hear an airdrop. No, I don't. It's just the music. Stop getting paranoid. Uh, so... I'm going with my pickaxe. Let's see how fast this is. I bet you it's going to be used as a weapon, not necessarily a mining tool. Uh, because you can really break stone with anything. But, yeah, let's see. It's not that good. Uh, oh my god. Yes it is. Never mind. Sulfur. Sulfur. Metal. I love this. It's beautiful. So, uh, I'm going to kind of yellow this and go for one mutation wolf. Just one. I don't want to go into the thing of two. I'm actually kind of scared to go, uh, in, or to find my place. So I'm going to make myself a wood shelter and a wooden door, and I'll be back after I'm done. So I just killed a deer for a little food. So let's just chop them up. Sorry if you guys don't like me killing animals, but that's kind of what I need to do in this game. For cloth and animal fat. So, you know. So it's arriving in darkness. Uh, have I crafted my wood shelter? Yes, I have. Uh, let's just take this out because it's not necessary at the moment. Uh, I don't need you. Put that in. And let's just put down our wood shelter. Okay, I think we're in. Five. Yes, we are. Uh going to put down a campfire and then after I'm done I will put food in and that will be the end of this episode so I think we got off to a really good start um, I don't know about you but uh, we got some really good progress done honestly uh, where is a sleeping bag stone hatchet workbench blah blah sleeping bag I have 12 cloth not 15 apparently so, yeah, that's just fantastic. Where's my, okay, there's my camp thing. Six. Let's use this. And then you have to hold that down, press open, and put our food in there. It'll start to cook. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a wrap for today. Uh, goodbye, guys. Thank you for watching. Hold on, first, I'll, let me take that, no, no copyrights for me. Let's just make a door, make a door. And, uh, yeah, so, honestly, I'm just going to talk for 30 seconds as this wooden door makes, or crafts, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think this game is amazing. I don't know about you, but look at all this detail. Uh, it's cooking, okay, look at this. I can just eat it up right away. Six. Boom, 813. Look at that food in the bottom right. Mmm. Wrong sound effects, but who cares? Those... I didn't know chicken was crunchy. Yellow. Yeah. So that's a wrap for today. Yeah, that's a wrap for today. If you guys liked this video, remember to drop a like, comment, or subscribe. I hope I see you in the next video. And peace out. Goodbye. Woo!